Hello everybody and welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons, where in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I make my builds. Now the first thing I do when I make a build is I find the type of build that I'm making. So I made a lot of, um, of like tank builds and stuff, but right now I'm actually working on a soul build. Even here in my inventory, I have got a speeding build here with this chill gale knife and this ember robe and that's something about builds that it doesn't always have to be like the most health the most dps and stuff like that it can also just be like speeding through the levels or like range damage or soul damage or stuff like that so that's the, always the first thing i do when making a build and then i look through often the melee section first uh just in my inventory not really planning out every anything i just look through uh, all of my melee weapons and just look for a weapon that could work so let's see that i just want to make like a normal tank build it's like oh yeah this dancer sword that could be cool and stuff then i enchant with like void strike and like crits and radiance i guess and sometimes it's that easy just looking through the inventory finding something cool using it but you know if i don't find that then i can also like just grind for it and i have the mod ancient boss rush installed so then the nether wastes biome is basically just the best place to grind so if you're gonna make a build get this mod it's super useful already the melee weapon done and of course the enchantments i'll get onto that also try not to pick the most obvious things you know like I feel like the thing that makes making builds so fun is trying to be unique. Like not always taking like fighter's bindings and like like wither armor and yeah, this is powerful, but it's not unique, you know, like it's just boring. So then when I'm done with the meal weapon, I go on to the armor where it's kind of the same thing as with the meal weapon, but I'm trying to get some synergy here. So like not just take like, oh yeah, this full metal armor epic yeah done but instead going here to the dancer sword and seeing okay it's gonna be a kind of fast but it's also gonna be some void strike so probably not any like speed boosts so that already eliminates the renegade armor but then maybe i can use this nimble turtle armor you know because it doesn't give you any speed boosts but it's still that some speed boost after hit but that's not for melee attack speed uh, but it's also got the healing boost i can maybe take in some nice artifacts there or something but it's also got radiance so that speed will then uh, help with that so more more health and damage reduction and it's got some nice enchantments so then i can go with for example thorns chilling but then here you know it's between protection and deflect but then since it's got kind of big area and of course speed boost after hit i might go with deflect since i'm not planning to use the ranged weapon that much and since this is a melee build then the ranged weapon doesn't really matter that much often i take this feral soul crossbow basically just for the tempo theft but also the anima conduit uh, just to have that in the background and although in most of my builds i don't have any like complementary soul things but still it's just good to have in the background but you can also do something like the firebolt thrower or soul under crossbow or like even just a simple harp crossbow and then just enchant it like this and that's already half of all of the items and then it's just onto the artifacts where here i often take a death gap mushroom arnhide amulet and gang of weakening or just some form of that since in my mind that's just the best go-to standard things but you know you can also use different things like for example the boots of swiftness which is great for just if you don't really have an idea of what to take as the third artifact and then for this build instead of the death cap i'm actually gonna take the iron hide since here it's got the void strike and it's already decently quick with the, whatever this enchantment is called so iron hide instead of it so a little bit more protection think that'll be nice and then maybe also the updraft tome since it's literally a delete button now back to that enchantments thing that i mentioned before and that is that try to not go with always like the same enchantment it's kind of like uh when you're picking out your gear it's like 
try just not to go with the same every single time and stuff and also try and use what you think is good like don't just take like the standards like the fighter's bindings it's a really good weapon but the reason that i don't use it in any of my builds is because i'm just not feeling it i don't really like it that much uh, so instead for example i often use or even in my main build i use the cursed axe where this here just feels so much better especially with the death cap so do what you can divide with and um, for example this encrusted anchor you know it can still be good you know swirling maybe i think it's got a one attack combo so then swirling shockwave and then for example pain cycle you know big amounts of damage and then could maybe take in some healing so now let's take this build for a spin but also this build probably isn't going to be that well because it takes a long time to make a good build also I haven't tested this build once, so test your builds. But now let's test this build out in the Creeper Woods, which... Also, another tip. Uh, when you're testing your builds and, like, it's not done or something, then Creeper Woods is a really good point to at least start testing in when you don't really know the power uh, in your build. But, like, right now I'm just, like, shredding these zombies, you know? Like, they don't even stand a chance. I mean, like, yeah, it's not as good as my main build, but I made this build in a day and didn't test it once, just followed my own tips, I guess. <laughs> um, so, this is actually pretty good. Make some cool builds, that, that's all I want to see. And then share them on the Discord server, link in the description. So, as I said, this build really isn't perfect, but I think it's a good, like, starting point, you know? Like, it's got the right idea, it's just you know needs some fine tuning and stuff so this will then be it for this video and i hope that some of these tips helped you make a like fun and creative build so yeah i guess this is the end of the video so bye